It's the Kai and Echo Show! Episode 1! But that's not. Okay, you can stop. That's not really the title. This is the road to Del Rio Grande and we're gonna try to do like certain segments where we just talk to you guys. Since this is the first episode, we thought, okay, what's the perfect thing to, to talk about in the first episode? Which is, we can start from the very beginning. A very good place to start. Sorry, we have a sound of music hangover. We were only together for a year before we decided to get married. Or so, maybe less. Yeah, actually, technically less. Yeah, people were asking like, okay, what, you know? Why so soon and stuff like that. It was more of, are you sure you want to marry? <laughs> anyway, but I was like, no, it's true love. So we wanted to sort of tell you in our own words. This is something we can just show our titas and titas when they ask. Them. In our future kids. In our future kids, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not pregnant. If people are thinking that. Because that was a question also. Mm -hmm. Like, are you pregnant? No, I'm just chubby. <laughs> oh, I'm just chubby. <laughs> I'm working on it. So we just wanted to talk about the very beginnings of our story. I was new in the band scene and one of my first few gigs with Otto Dalek was alongside his band, which during that time was JJV. I would see them in gigs and so like it just so happened that the first few gigs I had, our set was always moved back so they could make time for their band. So for me, someone who wasn't used to schedule being pushed, it made me very, very upset. And it wasn't intentional. I know, it wasn't intentional, but I wanted to take my anger out on someone. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happened that during that time, Echo was very noticeable. He had the slick back hair. He was always well-dressed, I will give that to him. So that translated to me as, okay, ang yabang nito. From that point on, like I would go home and then my siblings would ask me, Oh, how are your gigs so far? And I'd be like, Oh, so fun, so fun being in a band, except for this one person. I would go home and sort of make some wrong. And then at the Barbie, I remember one time she was like, uh, <laughs> and then I was like, ew! As in, ew, talaga. I will never date Echo Del Rio. Never, ever, 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 ever. We ended up meeting for the first time, like, as friends, talaga, during one of Sagiho's anniversaries. <laughs> okay, how many times na dapat tayo magkita bago mo edit? Immediately to me, I was like, this guy has some Or bago ta pwedeng ngayain mag Yeah, basically how many times do I have to see you before I can ask you out? So I just laughed it off because it was so absurd because coming from someone who hated this guy, I was like, oh, he's not so bad, he's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> the funny. <laughs> no, but I don't think he's cute or whatever then. Fast forward, I was single and... <laughs> And the next day was Fet de la Musique and I was with my friends, I was trying to be cool and then he arrived and I saw him from a distance and my heart skipped a beat. I was like, oh my god, I like Echo! It was so strange! And then he was like, oh I have to go to my other gig in this other place. So I was like, internal. Oh man, like I thought we were gonna hang out. He left and then he texted me like Ganda mo naman. And I was like, <laughs> like it's so kidding. <laughs> From Fet. We hung you came back and then we hung out that night. Because the next day I had a gig and then you were like, Oh, I wish I could watch your gig. It was like, <laughs> like it was so strange. It was such a strange week. So I bugged him to watch Finding Dory with me in Eastwood. That week, that was our first date. And yeah, the rest is history. Pag tira nung na ako ng future babies natin, kung paano mo ako niligawan, sabi ko, oh, you watch it, so do it. That's really <laughs> true though. Yeah, that's always his dream. Prior to that, it was still just like for fun. Siyempre, I didn't wanna really admit it because am I really dating my friend? And him naman, parang he was still in denial. Like He would tell me stories about his office mates asking him if we were together and he'd be like, 
hindi po naman, di ba? <laughs> They were so hurt! I was like, oh! It was part of the risk of dating. You. Yep. But we powered through. Yeah, that's our story in a nutshell. That's the story we've been telling our pastor and our parents and our friends. And I guess they sort of understand now why we are getting married. Because mm -hmm. the good thing is, like, this is the first time I've been with someone who was my friend. For a while. I mean, we were acquaintances for a year and then friends for another year before we actually got together. So there's a lot of established ground, which is very important, I guess, in a, in a solid relationship when you kind of know each other's baho. Diba? Mm -hmm. Parang, I've seen him date around. He's seen me like post breakup, which is the worst versions of one another. And the fact that I think we got to see past that and kind of fall in love. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like our story. Yeah. You like our story. Yeah. I feel like it's a good story to tell. Even when we decided to call each other boyfriend and girlfriend, we were already kind of steady. Mm -hmm. But we had never defined it in actual terms. It was just when one of his friends was asking us for advice. The girl he was dating during that time, he's gonna propose to her to be his girlfriend. And he was gonna take her to the beach. And then we were in his car. And then, Nico Arenas, if you're watching this, <laughs> did you end up doing that? Please comment below <laughs> and share and subscribe. He asked us for advice and then he was like, Oh, how did you do it? And then we were like, Actually, it's not eh. So in that car ride, then Echo was like, You know, be my girlfriend? And I was like, Yes! That's how we became official. But we were like yeah. pretty much official before that. That was his first proposal. That's why the second proposal was so much better. <laughs> and we're back. We didn't go anywhere, but we're back. We've told you our love story because we want to start off our week fresh. This is actually something we really do, which is couple's face mask. So cleanliness is next to godliness. I'm gonna put mask on him right now, just to promote health and wellness. Shout out more than us telling you about you know our love story, our wedding. One thing that I'm also into is getting healthy and getting fit because I used to be a very, 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 very fat kid. <laughs> we have the wedding now, which is a goal. So we're gonna take you through our wedding fitness reg regimen, <laughs> stuff like that. And you know, both of us are working on albums. We've got a lot of surprises next year from both our bands. So we're gonna take you behind the scenes of life as a professional musician. We're actually filming this and doing the vlog for our kids and our diet. Yeah. Kids, like, I mean, we just like thinking about the future, like what our house is gonna look like, you know, what our kids are gonna do. Do, you know, we, that's something we like to do as a couple. The thing is, we really take videos of our daily stuff. Right? Yeah, so, like right, just, we just so document everything so much. Yeah, might as well share it, it with the world. And I guess like getting married is the perfect excuse to share a lot about the planning and. Yeah, because like a lot of people are really asking me about like how it's been going, the planning, the postpartum, what's it like to be engaged. engaged. That's a big thing. I mean, a lot of people don't know. He was 25 when we got engaged. I am I'm older than 25. It's kind of uso to get married a little later in life nowadays. Yeah. You never really know where life takes you and then you end up dating your weird crazy friend and <laughs> you, he ends up proposing a year later. And this is what happens. I guess it's, it's nice to be able to share this with you guys and hopefully it's something you will enjoy. Hope you never get tired of it. So. Is that, is that our <laughs> outro song also? So we'll see you in episode 2. And if you guys have suggestions, yes. comments, and questions. questions. Anything you want us to do. Wholesome stuff. <laughs> 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 like anything you want us to talk about, anything you want us to try. Feel free to, to leave a comment below. Please like and share and subscribe and yeah follow us on social media at echo Dojo on instagram and twitter at kai Hanasan on instagram and twitter we're very responsive see you guys on the internet bye bye, bye guys bye guys